Great. Um, you know, even going back to last year, you know, we, we felt like it was, it was real and something that he could certainly incorporate. You know, I think he worked on a little bit this winter and has carried it right into spring training. So I, it's a pitch we have a lot of confidence in, but I think, you know, most importantly, Chappie has a lot of confidence in it and um you know the results have been really good on it and and uh, and i would say the feel he has for the pitch so it's one thing to have this disgusting pitch that it's difficult to harness um it's going to be difficult to catch at times but um he's got a really good feel for it and and you know it, it's something that you know certainly will play for him in the immediate but i think something that will allow him to you know as he gets in the second half of his career i think be something that keeps him you know, dominant moving forward. And the fact that your last two seasons have ended on, on homers that, that Chappie gave up mm -hmm. uh, close games. And uh, is that something you've ever addressed with him? Do you think do you ever feel the need in terms of his confidence or, or, or anything like that? I do not. Chappie's different, man. He's, I really believe he's unaffected by it. Um, you know, I mean, he's obviously upset in the moment and heartbroken like we all are, but as far as how it affects him moving forward and his, his level of confidence in himself, I don't worry about it. You know, um, you know, it's not been a case where, you know, he's, he's been hit around to, to, you know, it's just the nature of the beast sometimes. And, you know, especially when you're going up against a guy like him, you know, you're, it's tough to string it together against him. You gotta, you gotta run into it. And I was assume the same goes for your confidence in him that, I mean, those, those two home runs have nothing. To... No, I, I feel like he's as, you know, in, in last years in so many ways, um, even became a, a better, even pitcher. And uh, I just feel like he's still a dominant force in the league pitch that he used in the playoffs last year, you know, when it was a very new pitch. So I, I think that, speaks to the the quality of the pitch and the confidence he had into it in it really in its infancy. Um, then I think, you know, really getting to hone it a little bit this winter and then carrying it now into spring, you watch him. It's, it's like a pitch he's been throwing all his life. And uh, you know, yeah, I mean, everything lines up for it to be a, a real factor for him. Yeah. It's uh, I'm really pleased with where they are. I mean, you know, you think about Garrett, Kluber, Tyone, Monty, uh, Domingo, Davey, uh, King. Or I, I feel like all those guys are, you know, you know where whereabouts you'd hope they'd be at this point in the spring. Some even more advanced, you know, and and more polished and probably more ready for the season to start. But it's just a matter of building them up now. But I, I feel really good about where they are physically. I mean, the challenge is going to be again keeping them. Uh, built up properly and and being able to you know you know maintain and and stay strong as as much as we can throughout the year with them but at this point I'm really encouraged by what I'm seeing